Okay, I'll try to go over the features again really quick on this. Uh, there's a little holder for Allen wrench that is for adjusting different things on here. Comes with a uh, pretty nice uh, dust bag that I'm not using right now. Just attaches on the back. Uh, have the laser, which is pretty hard to see right now. It's a little light out. I can just see it, you know, when I'm working. That's just a switch up here. Has a trigger lock. You have to press this thumb thing and then hit the trigger. The regular guard. A nice. It comes with a nice thin blade. Um, Oh, it has a spindle lock for easy blade changes. Use a single wrench. Um, of course, it's a full miter. You can do from zero up to 45 degrees either direction. Uh, it has a clamp for clamping uh, molding in. I don't have it on right now because I never cut molding. I uh, have it out in the shed somewhere. You could do your 0 to 45 degree um, slices this way on the back here. There's a big knob in the back to loosen and tighten that. I just have it set on 0. I won't use that very often. It's got a lock for carrying it. A carry handle on the back that's removable. Oh, what else? Blade is a 7 and a 1 fourth carbide tipped. Um, doesn't say the widthness. Oh, cutting capacities: 90 degree miter cut, one and one half by four and one fourth inch. 45 degree miter cut is one and one half inch by three inch. 45 is one and one half inch by three and a half inch. Crown molding is three and a half inch. Yeah, it's a nice little unit. I just use it once in a while for doing stuff that out in the woods or what have you. Still haven't used it a whole lot. I haven't had time to get out in the woods, but this is nice. I don't have to haul my stuff over here. You know, just kind of handy. Just uses your regular 18 volt batteries. I'm using a small lithium right now. I really do like that laser. It's hard to see right now with it being bright out, but I can still see it enough to get, you know, perfect on there, which is really nice. You can stop it in a 2x4. It's not really made for cutting 2x4. That's about the biggest oh, batteries dead. I thought I'd charge that one, but maybe I had maybe I used that one. It might be this one that's charged. I need a couple of those. Yeah. Here's that little clamp I was telling you about. It'll it just it just slides into these little holes you can do on either side. And you just Swing it out of the way if you're not using it. I just take it off. That's for doing basically doing molding, I guess. I've never used it, probably never will use it, but maybe, who knows? Keep it around. Alright, do some cutting. Uh, I got some boards to support the 2x3 I'm cutting. I'm cutting a bunch of 2x3s in half for this project. I used uh, just a piece of 2x6 and a 1x to get enough height to equal the height of the deck so that it's supported all the way across. Because otherwise the 2x4's ends fall down and it binds when you're cutting through. Um, yeah, I've done that before. Just charge these batteries.
battery's pretty old. Maybe it's going bad on me. These ones are newer. Still kind of old, but... Yeah, another one worked. That one was warped upward pretty bad. So I cut all this wood, and you might be wondering why. I have some more to cut, probably. Uh, I'm making, converting this trailer so that I can haul animals in it. So I think it's about uh, really close to 20 cuts of these 2x3s. I might not be exact on that. It's between 12 and 20 anyhow. Because these sides are 4 footers so I only had to cut them once because I just cut 8s in half. Um, and then uh, for the roof I have two 4 footers but then I have uh, three shorter ones because I did the roof a little different so the shorter ones are uh, cut twice on each of them <laughs> 